Ever since Jennifer Lopez released her debut single, If You Had My Love, in 1999, which topped the Billboard Hot 100 charts that year, she has gone on to become one of the most celebrated artists cum actress in the world. Through hard work, she has managed to release eight studio albums, two compilation albums, one extended play, three box sets, and 63 singles. Jennifer Lopez has also managed to scoop tens of music awards, and this just shows how talented she is. What we all see currently is the global star she is, but what many of us may be unaware of is the humble beginnings that JLo had. Hello, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have lined up an exciting video for you on the humble childhood life that Jennifer Lopez had before all the fame and wealth came in. This is the story of Jennifer Lopez's childhood growing up in New York's Bronx. Stick with us till the end, because we have a surprising fact about JLo that we'll be sharing with you later. JLo may have everything that she may ever need in her life. A mega mansion, a successful career, a famous partner, and two adorable kids. But she still remembers where she came from. She has stated on several occasions how her childhood in the Bronx played a critical part in shaping who she is now. She also has been heard saying how she will never forget her childhood years when money was a major concern for her. According to her, it's the challenging times from her past that really make her appreciate everything that she has now. Jennifer Lopez was born on July 24, 1969 in New York City to Puerto Rican parents Guadalupe Rodriguez and David Lopez. She is the second of three children that her parents had. She has an older sister, Leslie, and a younger sister, Linda. Her mother was a kindergarten teacher while her father was a computer specialist. Her parents tried their best to provide for JLo and her two sisters, but it wasn't easy for them. Their salaries did not cover all the needs as much as they would have wanted. JLo's parents still managed to cater to their basic needs and even save some money in the hope that one day they would manage to buy a bigger place. A few years later, her parents' wish came true and they moved to a two-story house in Castle Hill, which was within the same neighborhood that they were living in. Although it wasn't a huge upgrade, it felt like an incredible achievement to them. This achievement by JLo's parents set an example to her and her sisters that they could also achieve anything if they put in the work. The house may have been new, but space was still a luxury, so JLo continued sharing a bedroom with her two sisters. She revealed that this continued from the time she was 10 until she was 16. The new house also came with a yard where JLo's father had a vegetable patch where he grew crops such as corn and green beans that the family cooked. The yard also served as a little Jennifer's favorite part of the house since it had a tree that her father had made a swing using rope and wood, something that really appealed to Jennifer and her sisters. Lopez has on several occasions spoken of how her humble childhood helped her appreciate the little things that her parents did for her and her siblings. She said that growing up with very little, she had learned not to take anything for granted. As she grappled with the little that her parents could offer, she also had to make do with what little time she got to spend with her father. He used to work night shifts, so he'd make enough money to take care of his family. Of course, he had to sleep during the day, and this left him with very little time to spend with Jennifer and her sisters. JLo's parents were also aware that the neighborhood was not the safest place for them to spend their time, so her mom often came up with ways to keep them busy, and one of these ways was to ask them to put on shows and perform for her. As she asked them to perform, she also taught them the importance of having a good work ethic. These activities would later prove to be the silver lining for JLo, who was really struggling academically. As time went by, she started realizing that performing was something she would die for, and in no time, she started considering it as a viable career. Unfortunately for her, this was the start of a strained relationship with her parents, who did not support her decision to quit college and fully focus on becoming a star. Things got so bad for young Jennifer that at one point she even became homeless. However, JLo was a fighter, and she was not going to give up on her dream. She continued to work hard on her talent and even joined the Kips Bay Boys and Girls Club. She even credits the club for making her who she is today. In one of the interviews, she expressed her gratitude to the club, saying, Like many club alumni, I can honestly say I don't know where I'd be today without the club. Thanks to Boys and Girls Clubs from the bottom of my heart, for all you have done for me and for so many others. Back in 2019, JLo spoke about her childhood in an interview with GQ. While speaking about a new film that she was promoting then called Hustlers, the interviewer asked her about one of the compliments from a fan who referred to her as a bad, bad bitch, perhaps referring to the lyrics from her song, I'm Real. Responding to the fan, JLo admitted that growing up in the Bronx was not all rosy. She said that it's a setting that forces one to have some urban gangster qualities. 
She spoke of the hard kind of background she experienced during her childhood, where she often saw girls fighting. According to her, these events affected her and she naturally toughened up and made her become a badass type character. JLo also spoke fondly of her childhood home during the Variety Power of Women's Gala in 2014. She said, Although my childhood was filled with many happy memories, it was also spent in abject poverty. I was one of the 17 million kids in this country who didn't know where their next meal was coming from, and I did everything to get food. She also spoke of the shameful and shocking things she had to do just to secure her next meal. The singer said, I've stolen for food. I jumped in huge garbage bins with maggots for food. I had befriended people in the neighborhood who I knew had mothers who cooked three meals a day for food, and I sacrificed a childhood for food and grew up in immense shame. The love that JLo has for her childhood home was also seen during her pregnancy, which coincidentally was during the time that her sister Linda was pregnant. Speaking at the Power of Women Gala, JLo said, During that time we started talking every day, sometimes staying up until the wee hours of the night discussing how having children would change our lives and what we were going to do. It was just like when we were kids, sharing a bedroom in the Bronx. Sharing a bedroom with a Bronx with our other sister, all three of us. Talking about our hopes and dreams. She continued, The experience made us think a lot about how different it was for some people, which we knew from growing up in the Bronx. Now, on to that surprising fact about Jennifer Lopez. Did you know that she regularly experiences panic attacks? Talking to W Magazine, JLo revealed that her panic attacks started after she starred in the 1997 movie Selena. After the movie was released, she started receiving overwhelming attention that disoriented her private life. She spoke of how people started approaching her in public and how it gradually became unsettling. Since then, she never goes anywhere alone. The I'm Into You songstress was quoted saying, I never thought about fame until Selena. After that film, I would have panic attacks. I remember walking down the street and someone yelled, Jennifer, and I didn't know who it was. I ran home. From that point forward, I realized I couldn't be alone in public. I don't think I've been alone on the street in over 20 years. Jenny from the block has seen it all. She has managed to rise from the humble neighborhood in the Bronx and stolen our hearts with her melodious voice and scintillating dance moves. She is still going strong in her music career and shows no signs of stopping anytime soon. Her talent has seen her scoop a whopping 212 awards from 341 nominations. Indeed, Jennifer Lopez is a perfect example of what you can really achieve if you put all your mind and soul into it. As she put it, have faith, dream big, think big, and know that anything is possible. Have you been motivated by the success story of Jennifer Lopez? Let us know your thoughts about her rise from the Bronx to the world stage. Remember that we have lots of fun videos like this that we will be uploading. To make sure that you don't miss out on any future upload, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Remember to stay safe and we will see you very soon.